Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We're going to do a quick pause on Lazarus to do Samson. I think Samson starts with three hearts as well. Hope I'm right. This only matters when I'm taking damage. If I could get flight, I would love that. I'm looking at you, hanged man card. Also, wow, I very rarely get a bedroom on the first floor. Mom's key. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you, Mom's key? I wish I could just caress you and think positive things about you. Oh, nice. I got hit. Doesn't matter because it's the first floor. But if any, if it's anything like the last run. Getting hit too many times is detrimental to your run. <laughs> but really, it's all good at the end of the day. Uh, I want to be better, of course. I want to be great. But sometimes you don't play the best, and that's okay. You get to always try again, and that's what I love. Take purposeful damage, that way on the boss I can do more damage. Damage to damage, you know? Ooh. Get him. Get him, buddy. Attack! Okay, maybe my aim was off there. Haha! -ha. Take this! <laughs> What is my lowest stat? Tier 8? Range. That makes sense. Alright, we are here in Dross. And look! A sacrifice room. I feel like they're taunting me. Well, taunt away. Maybe you can give me some red hearts to play around with. How about that? I do remember that I picked up Samson's birthright before. Still don't know what it does but that's what I'm thinking about right now. I, sne I see you, you sneaky leech. Speaking of, getting the leech would be awesome. And getting the IV bag would be even more awesome. Come on! <laughs> that enemy shot that leash from downtown and clobbered me in the face with it. That's how the cookie crumbles. Ouch, you're hurting me. Be gentle. Be kind. Oh, not this thing. Oh, this thing has my name on it. This is this is the boss I've died to the most in like 170 episodes or however many episodes we're on. This boss has killed me more than anything else because it always hits me. It is grade A insanity. Great S insanity, really. Just, wow. Perhaps I should take some time to learn how the boss actually works, but no. <laughs> I'm 
No. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm getting that candle. It's gonna give me some extra damage. Unless you're gonna give me a good active item. You know what? I will take it. Lucky Foot is gonna make my pills positive now. If they give me pills, you know? It's all a mystery. Well, this is gonna be my next floor without a potential arcade because I, I never have more than five coins for this run. Oh boy. Curse of the Lost. Oh, I don't like that. Petrified poop makes its return. I'm gonna wait for these to throw more stuff. Okay, good throw. A plus. You win. This is Dross 2, right? Or Downpour 2. So yeah, I can just ignore them. I can fly myself over... Compass? Cool. Look at my shot speed. What is happening? Another explosive friend. Okay, Teratoma, or whatever you are. I think it's Teratoma. Satan is still being mean, huh? You're not gonna let up and be nice?
<laughs> I was trying really hard to get the positioning right. So I'm going to avoid using my red candle since I now have a stat up item in the vibrant bolt. It's something. Let's get the compass. Okay, let's get the compass and the battery baby. Charged baby. Sorry. Yes, I just messed up. I should have kept another bomb for the door. blew it up. This is why I do the doors as soon as I see them, because I might do something like that and forget. Good job past me for setting future me or current me up for success. Okay, we have stuff. I didn't know you could walk past the statue. Sorry, just minor panic there. Still trying for the magic mushroom. How many times do you get more shot speed than movement speed? So if I find another Balls of Steel, I don't mind taking on the Sacrifice Room. Since I have enough Red Hearts on the ground. Oh boy, nice job. Everyone teaming up on me with my very low damage. succeeded with this item before so I don't even know what it does but I imagine it does something cool basically it's the lost it's just following me around the one I like more is the trinket the trinket makes a baby lost appear with you and it's basically incubus okay this is very not good and there goes my buddy. That's how that works.
If I can, I will get the dull razor. Also, I hope that's not the six turn boss. I really don't like that fight. <laughs> I did that to myself. Well, let's just do the boss now. No. Awesome. Can you give me Mega Blast, please? I can buy the Dull Razor. Not sure if I want to still at this point. Things to think about. What I'm trying to do right now is get some items, or if it's going to bless me, I can flip the Devil Deal into an Angel Deal. So one of those things is going to happen. I just want to see which one will happen. Do I need angel stuff? No. Awesome. Risk paid off. I did not get anything from that though. That's the only downside. I was hoping to get a pedestal item or a blessing, but I did not. Okay, let's see. Yay! Oh, come on! If my bombs don't work on it, my follower bomb should not either. Today we learned. Wow. Oh. Still didn't get my demo deal. <laughs> but I do now have old bandage which will spawn red hearts every now and then. I've gotten that one quite a bit as well. Ooh. 
range up. Okay. Oh, right. I have the lost. I gotta remember that. Try my best not to get hit by stuff and keep my distance. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have never kept that thing alive. I have no idea what it's supposed to do. I would need to have like an ultra build and then pick it up because it's not surviving. Sorry about it, buddy. Maybe someday. Okay, this one is going to be the nasty fight. You know what? We're just taking damage now, on purpose. I'm getting tore up by this map. But, you know, this is my way of getting damage for this character. I get hit. So that's what we're doing. Until they give me stats. <laughs> I'll just take damage. <laughs> also, with my supreme shot speed, I can hit enemies from much farther away. Okay, we're doing just fine.
Okay, there's some more damage. Old bandage, please help me out. We got one of them though, that's good. This floor alone, I got three damage ups. Big fan of that. Ooh, more health. Love it. Hmm. Okay, that's good. D8 is a very fantastic item to mess around with. I have very, very high shot speed and range. So I could have tried to D8 into tier rate and more damage, but obviously it's random. So I didn't want to play around with that too much and potentially tank my damage or tank my tier rate. The crazy part about this area is how the controller continues to vibrate. The first time it happened I was very... it actually adds to the stress.
pretty good. Yay me. Please just magically open. Wait, my lost is back? How did that happen? Okay, does this mean... Oh, because all my items were removed from me. That's an interesting interaction. So the lost itself was done, but I went into an area where all my stuff was turned off, and it seems like the game is coded to reacquire all of your items without their effects. Interesting. So am I going to... What happens now that I have my little lost buddy? Are you about to give me a holy mantle? Oh, whoa! That's awesome! Approved. So yes, it's definitely beneficial to keep Lost alive if it's going to give you three soul hearts every clear. And there's a sacrifice room! I feel very confident doing it now. I want to bomb these, but I need to save some of my bombs for the shop. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lost, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Better luck next time. cement. Yeah, let's do it. Well, that's my fault. Normally, I, I save my item room until I've done the shop. Had I done that, I could have taken this uh, fabulous thing known as pay to win, but I think I need the stat boost, unfortunately. Okay, I was a little slow there. And now that I have no soul hearts, I have to be very careful as I can lose my double deal chance. Alright, my bomb friend, I need you to blow up this champion. Or I guess I can knife it. I tried to go fast and ran into that rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been playing so bad trying to beat Mother. And I, I did say Beast was harder. Or did I say Mother was harder? I don't remember. But uh, whatever I said, I suck. <laughs> More shot speed, why not? 
We don't need actual stats. That would be crazy. Oh boy, uh, hmm. So where is the secret room? No one knows. Nice. Potato pillar, that would be very nice to have. You know what? Can you do this? You can, okay. Need a little help here. Okay. Okay, never mind. I was going to do champion, nope, emperor card into the boss of the next area, but that is mom. I can full card out though. 
If I needed to. Not that I do. It's a dice room. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, there's a planetarium. Nice. There is no sacrifice room. By the way, I have not talked about it, but a meat man is such good extra damage for all the different enemies since it has good targeting. This is really, really good. ground gets re-rolled, that's fine. Okay, uh, this is definitely going to be greed. Wow. Last minute keeper sack. Love it.
Okay, let's do the last couple things here before we take on the corpse. What is our planetarium? Okay, that's fine. I'm looking for some of the more high-end things, but obviously you don't really get a choice there. I would love to get Brainworm, but I need the stat boost. Okay, here we go. Oh right, I had my lost. I wasn't even thinking. Am I ever thinking? <laughs> Better question. Good damage, I guess. This is the one boss where I will use my candle. I need to block some of those tears. Okay, I almost did it. I have zero faith in this build. So rather than doing full exploration, I'm just going to hit the major parts. And then I'm going to move on. I am doing the Seven Deadly Sin, as there's a chance for them to give me an item. I can do those because guppy items... Goodbye, lost friend. <laughs> this mother area is no joke. The it's the womb, it's got tough enemies. Oh, that's Guppy. That's Guppy. You know what? It's not Guppy because I used all of my Guppy transformation. I used all of my nine lives so that item is gone. That's really sad. So I will need to find Guppy's eye, or Guppy's head, in order to become Guppy. And that would make this run much better. You know what? I don't have to clear that floor. I have Mercurius. Okay, I'm gonna do it.
Somehow this is doing better than Lazarus. Probably because I get more damage from getting hit. <laughs> That's a nasty attack. I definitely, in hindsight, should have taken the Polaroid. Because Guppy's Paw will give me only Soul Hearts, and every time you get hit without Red Heart containers, your picture item activates. So in this case, I'm going to deal room-wide damage every time I get hit, whereas with the Polaroid, I would have gotten a shield. All good. Here we are. Final floor. Oh, there's nothing even in here, so I just need to find the exit. As long as nothing's in my way, I'm going to be curious. Thanks, BFF. Or, sorry, not BFF. BBF. Big Beautiful Fly. Do not like this attack. I've only ever seen it a few times, and the last time I fought with it, <laughs> I actually knocked it back because I had Spirit Sword lost contact. Wow, I didn't get hit that time. Shock. Just small FYI, since you can't see my face and what I'm doing, but this that entire sequence, I was watching my character. I haven't watched this boss the entire time. So 5% of that fight, I had my eyes on Mother. The rest of it was actually me watching my character. That's how I was able to dodge the line work tears. I still got hit a bunch, but I won, and that's the most important thing. So maybe that's a little tip for other people if you do struggle with Mother. We got Bloody Gust. I don't know what that means, but we have Bloody Lust, Bloody Gust, and Blood Lust. I'm sure it must deal something with defeating enemies or something, since that's how blood, Bloody Lust works, but we will find out at some point when I get the item. Thank you so much for watching! Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more! I will see you on the next video! Goodbye!